welcome back. So today I got home from work and I reached in the bucket of locks that I got from Zombie Lock. Um, because it's stock lock night and he sent me a pretty cool stock lock actually. This is a uh, kick, obviously. Um, pretty awesome looking keyway there. Um, but it's not just any kick. This is a uh, Cabo Peaks. Um, pretty rough stuff usually. Um, yeah, I kind of pick them like I do Lockwood, so just walk them up. Um, I've had another Cabo Peak uh, that I picked before, so I don't expect this one to act too much different than that. Pretty good bidding on this one, though. Um, got low highs, you know, there, so. Um, but at any rate, I thought I'd put it in the vise. Um, should be able to fit my 18,000s in that keyway. It's, it's more wide open than you would think, I think. Um, let me see something here. Uh, yeah, let's look. Yeah, I can get my 18,000s in there. We're all right. All right, um, let's, uh, put it in the vise. Let me grab a piece of leather there. And we'll try to get this thing in the vise and see if we can get it open. Yeah, there we go. All right, um... <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna make sure the key works. Make sure it's nice and loose in there. Uh, I don't want to over tighten my vise and then fight feedback that I don't have. <laughs> um, should be able to use my fifty thousandths or close to fifty thousandths that I got from West Coast Picks in there, and I can. And as mentioned, I'm gonna try to use my gym. Um, let's see. I could probably zoom in for you guys. There we go. Um, you see any kind of movement I get on it? I think we're focused. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'll do what I always do, which is start in the back of the lock and search for a binder. Oh, hold on, let me make sure it's <laughs> in the vise good. There we go. And, yeah, it's still loose. Okay, good deal. Alright, we're, we're going to start in the back of the lock and pull forward and search for a binder. Okay, I'm not going to pull forward because it's already binding in the back. Um... Yeah, that was a uh, five or six. I don't even look to see if this is a five or six pinner. Okay, I just got a little bit on three. Again, I'm just walking the pins up. Um, kind of pushing on them like you would serrated pins, even though they're standard, I believe. Um, usually, I think I've seen a Cabo Peaks with spools in it before, but... I don't, I don't know if that was one that was pinned, pinned up by somebody else or if that was a um, stock lock because most of the Cabo Peaks I'd seen have had standard pins in them. Okay, there we go. Huh. Got a good click on four and a click on three. Actually, I may have overset three just now. That or... I know one is always all the way to the roof. It's like a check pin usually. Um, in these Cabo Peaks, you've got a what you would call almost a check pin. It normally has to go to the roof. I may have overset something. I'm going to back off. Try that again. I think I'm over setting five right out the gate. There we go. I just got a little rotation on the core. Oh, there it was. Um, pushed three and got her open. Um, yeah, like I said, they can be pretty tricky. Um, but it is picked, as you guys can see. So let's get the uh, pinning tray out and zoom back out and see what's inside of this Cabo Peaks. I felt all standards. I didn't feel anything crazy in there. Um, but, like I said, with those keyways that they are, the tight, tight tolerance. That's the other thing that Cabo Peaks uh, are known for. Uh, Cabas in general 
have very tight tolerances. So, um, okay, let me square you guys up here. Keep that all in frame. There we go. Let's get my pinning tray moved back here. And we'll see what's inside of this. There we go. Um, I have to do this old school. Well, maybe I can use my Schleg tool on it. Yeah, that'll work. And I do have a key if I lock it back up. But with this tool, I shouldn't. Because it works out nicely. There we go. Tailpiece. Spring in there, which didn't want to come out. Um, but I am, I know this is a stock lock, but I am going to shim it just in case. If I can get a shim in there. Like I said, these things are tight tolerances. Yeah, I got it in there. We're good. Um, okay, pins are up. Maybe. Wow. That one's acting like it's too big. There we go. Nope, it's too tight. It's not going to go. I think it's the shim that's messing me up. I'm going to push this all the way back and pull that shim out. Well, maybe. Let me grab my... This shim is toast. I know. Ooh. Yeah, that's how tight it is, guys. When I said that they have tight tolerances, I wasn't joking. Um... <laughs> The shim is stuck. <laughs> wow. Note to self, do not shim a cob of peaks. Alright, we're going to see if I can shove this follower through there. Well, I just dumped one and two out, or two and three out of the key pins. Go ahead and take one. That's the uh, check pin, more or less. Um, oh wow, there was a spool key pin in there. Um, there we go, I got it all the way through. Wow, awesome. Whew! Um, and we got a standard, standard, oh no, that's a serrated, oh nope, it's wafered. There's a wafer in there. I'm sure that has to work for the key. Otherwise, I got this from Zombie, and I don't think Zombie would have put a wafer back in the lock. Um, nothing done to the uh, core. They are um, completely smooth, but like I said, tight, tight tolerances. Um, obviously, you guys saw that firsthand. Um, this uh, pin, and I'll show it to you close up here in a minute. Um, wow, I don't know if I can get it. I can push that all the way through, maybe. Oh. <laughs> wow. That tells you how tight it is. It didn't even want to have that trim at all. It was not having it. Um, where am I? Tell you one thing I'm going to do. I'm going to mark the front of this. There we go. Okay. Alright. Um, I set my tweezers down right there. Okay. In the one, we have the tiny other half of that check pin. And we have a standard, standard, standard. I did not feel any spools or anything in the uh, key pin or in the driver positions. Wow, amazing how well that fits through there when you don't have a shim in it. Um, so essentially, I guess that makes this a seven pin lock when you have to, when you count the check pin in the front. Um, oops. So, there we go. And then all the springs should be the same. I don't think there's anything too crazy other than the first one. I'll bet that first one has a different size spring because of where it's at. Yeah, it does. Okay. And the second one... No, I guess not. They all look the same. Okay. 
can't we get? We'll just dump those springs. So yeah, essentially this Kaba Peaks is a seven pin lock because there is a pin that basically goes all the way to the roof um, in here, the way this fits. Um, let me show you. If you look at the um, where it's at, this fits down in here and it only goes so far but you ju it just just enough to push that forward and up with the key um, what did I do with the key I think I buried it um, I did I buried it hold on a second guys long video but I kinda wanna explain this for anybody who's not seen Akaba Peaks um, there it is alright um, You'll notice that this is all the way up in the front and uh, it pushes that first pin all the way up. But as you can see, it doesn't. It, there's a limiter in there so it doesn't actually have to push very far. But it's not even in the key pin position. Like all the key pins fall down to about here. It's all the way up here so you wouldn't even know. Um, I don't know how well my camera will pick that up, but the key pins are way lower than that check pin that's up front. Um, and of course, I hit it knowing that there was something there because I've seen I've picked these Kaba Peaks before. Um, at any rate, let me show you what was inside. Like I said, nothing too crazy about the Coras, and it is a seven pin when you count the check pin. Uh, and same thing with the. Uh, you can see that it's cut out there to fit that extra size of the uh, of the core. So uh, nothing done to the Bible either, by the way. Um, but let's show you guys these pins. I'm assuming he had to have the um, wafer on there to make that key work, uh, which obviously it didn't matter. I picked it to the wafer, so. Uh, I consider that a win. <laughs> Let's zoom in on this for you guys. Show you these pins. Um, in the first position, you can see it's kind of like a T-pin almost. T-pin, key-pin because of the way it fits in there. Uh, and then same thing on the uh, on the one in the Bible. And the standard, standard. We had a spool key-pin in, in basically four. Five was a standard. Six was a standard with a wafer. And seven was a standard. Then up top we had all standard pins, uh, except for the one, oops, except for the one in the um, in the check pin position. It is basically kind of like a T pin, uh, and then we had all standard um, uh, steel springs up top. But uh, thank you, Zombie Lock, for sending me this awesome lock. Um, like I said, you don't get an opportunity to pick a Kyle Peaks very often, so I appreciate it. Uh, thank you very much uh, for everybody for watching. Thank you for your time, and well, don't break the law.